episode of Quilt with the Stars is brought to you by Baby Lock for the love of sewing and Koala Cabinets, sewing furniture custom built in America. Hi, thanks for watching Quilt with the Stars. I'm Mary Fonz and I'm here with Vanessa Christensen. Welcome. Hi, thank you for having me. I love that your shirt and your fabric match and the project. <laughs> I know, it's almost like I did it on purpose. You kind of almost did, and, <laughs> but I know from looking at what you're wearing and what you've brought that your palette is very saturated color. Yes. And, and tell me more about, about what inspires you um, in terms of color. You know what, um, I really love each color, so um, focusing on each color mm -hmm. obviously um, creates a saturation, yeah. and um, especially in like my fabrics as well. Mm -hmm. um, I like to show all the different shades of just one color. So um, a lot of the times when I'm focused on a color, I yeah. like to, you know, show the tint or the shade mm -hmm. of it, mm -hmm. and so um, really that's just the color in itself is what motivates me yeah. and then everything else kind of goes with it. Kind of falls into place. Yeah. And this is fabric that you've designed yes. for Moda and it's exactly that. It's yes. gradient, right? Yes, yes. Well, this time around, uh, when we first started doing uh, fabric collections, we started with the gradient where it was, where it um, blended into. Mm -hmm. This one, we definitely did a definite line here. Yes. And um, each one is five and a half inches. Um, each strip is five and a half inches, mm -hmm. except for the salvage, which is a four and a half inch. But you can clearly see that we've picked out um, th four different colors that mm -hmm. go great together. Yes. And um, the main focus was pink, obviously. Yeah, and we've got this in another few colorways that we'll yes. get to, but we're gonna use this to our advantage in the project today that yes. these are these five and a half inch strips. So let's right. take a look at the project. Yeah. Tell me about this wall hanging. Um, so this wall hanging, um, I originally have a another quilt project, which is um, a smaller block. Mm -hmm. And so when I blew up this, um, just this one block, uh -huh. um, I wanted to use the ombre um, gradient colors and mm -hmm. just focus on the pink. And this is a perfect quilt to give to a newborn baby girl. Mm -hmm. and, um, and it's just a great quilt to um, get to wrap your baby um, home in. Yeah. And it's a perfect size for it. Cool. Um, it's a, a traditional kind of looking block, but with the, with the solids, it makes a very modern twist to it. It definitely is, and you've done straight uh, channel quilts thing yes. on it, which yeah. is a very modern choice as well. Yes. So let's talk about the, the different steps that sure. one needs to go through to make this this baby quilt. I, I actually called it a wall hanging because I thought that would look so awesome on the wall, but you could sort of do it either way, right? Yeah, well, my daughter pretty much thinks it's going to be in her room, so oh. it will be a wall hanging for her for and she's sure. 13? Is that what you said? No. No, no she's she, the youngest. Yeah, oh, she's right. seven. <laughs> okay, so she's making <laughs> she big plans already. She thinks that she's 13. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, so what we do is we use that fabric, mm -hmm. the ombre gradient um, stripes, and what we did first is we we cut them all up into strips. Great, and that's okay. just with your rotary cutter. I mean, you, you know just where to with, cut, uh -huh. right? And like I mentioned before, these are all five and a half, except for one of the salvage. Um, you'll get two of each of these colors. Great. Um, and so this is one of the salvages. One will be five and a half, and the second one will be four and a half. We okay. will keep this one for our points in the star um, on that quilt right Great. there. So the first thing to do is to, to separate your colors, and right. then you're gonna be cutting uh, squares. Right, mm -hmm. so first things first, we're going to, um, we're going to start with that pinwheel in the middle. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw our line mm -hmm. um, from corner to corner mm -hmm. and um, and then we're going to sew on either side of this drawn line. Okay. okay. And what I like to do, I mean just for me, I, I, I would probably draw three lines for me. Yes. Yeah. Do you do that yes. or do you just kind of no, use your quarter inch foot? Or? I know that there's a really awesome yeah. little ruler where you can actually put it in the side. That's and true. On either side. It's, I think it's a Bonds and Porter ruler. It funny, is. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so here we have, um, we've sewn down on either side mm -hmm. and we've cut down the middle. Okay. So now so you we get two. Mm -hmm, we get two. Great. Now in our instructions, which you can find on the website, mm -hmm. uh, we do start off with a larger um, block so that then we will take a ruler and we will line it up and just even it up so that it is perfect half square triangles. Got it. So the unit is a little bit bigger. Right. And you're going to trim it down. Trim okay. it down. Mm -hmm. Right. So here we have um, two already sewn and then we'll have, um, we'll make this into a pinwheel. pinwheel. Yep. Yeah, it's funny, I was laying out pinwheel blocks. They're so hard. To, you, it's like you have to keep turning them and turning right. them until you get them okay. right. So here's our center. Yeah, great. And once we have this all sewn, we're going to put it onto the side. Okay. 
And then our next thing that we're going to do is we're going to do those points, mm -hmm. the points on the star. Mm -hmm. And here we have one of the four and a half inch. These are four and a half inch squares. So we're going to use that smaller yes. salvage one. And what we're going to do this time around is we're going to actually sew on the line. On the line. Okay. And then when you sew on the line, this will fold over like this. Great. Right. We'll trim off underneath mm -hmm. right here. These two layers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we'll come back and we'll do the same to this. Okay, mm -hmm. we're gonna do this for all four sides, all four of the sides of the star. This is really a flying goose unit, only this is an extended piece. Yes. We've just got a little yes. bit more, more gray fabric there. Yes, perfect. Great. So we'll do four of these, mm -hmm. and then we'll put these onto the side. Okay, great, all our pieces and parts. Yes. Um, next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take, here we are, um, the background and um, the the third shade mm -hmm. of the pink that we have going there. And we're just going to do two strips and we're gonna sew down a quarter inch and we're going to subcut them mm -hmm. into, once we have them sewn, subcut them into four and a half by eight and a half. And so- The, the strip set is a beautiful thing. It yes, really is. it really is. It mm -hmm. makes things a lot easier. Mm -hmm. And you're going to make four of these checkerboards. Now, uh, just while we're here, when you do a strip set and you face two different uh, right. things, you know, your seams are always going to abut perfectly. Yes. Um, but we were talking about seams earlier, and yes. you're, you're a presser opener. I right. am, mm -hmm. because it kind of takes out the guessing game, mm -hmm. of especially because I do a lot of things with gradient, and then I don't always just... Um, keep all the darks on one side and all the lights sure. on the other side, mm -hmm. I kind of just mix them all around. So if you press them open, there's a lot less bulk mm -hmm. um, because sometimes you'll have both of your seams pressed the same way. Right. Um, this way, when you have them open, um, there's no, it's uniform. there's no, yeah, it's all uniform. I've really found that's a matter of taste. Some people just swear by one method and swear by the other right. and kind of have to find out what it works right. for you, what works for you. Yeah, and on this one, what we did is we always went to the gray because mm -hmm. this one really is, I mean, there's no guessing on right. this one. It's all gonna go the same right. way. Okay. okay. So there we go, we have four checkerboards. Right. And there's still a, some more flying geese to make. Yes, mm -hmm. and then uh, we're gonna do those points, the four points around mm -hmm. um, on the border there. And so what we start off with is um, an eight and a half by four and a half mm -hmm. inch rectangle. This mm -hmm. is the, the, one of the easiest ways to for me to make a flying, flying geese, mm -hmm. which there's so many ways to do it, there but this are. is the way that we, we sure. decided to do it. Well, it's great because you have these big strips that you're working with. Right. It's very simple. It's all very mm -hmm. uniform. Mm -hmm. So uh, here we have uh, two squares at four and a half inches mm -hmm. and one rectangle at eight and a half by four mm -hmm. and a half. And then we sew again on the line mm -hmm. and we open that up. I always like to press it just to make, before I cut it off, just yeah. to make sure that it's gonna be perfectly. I do too. Um, yeah. So go ahead and press that, cut off the excess, and then we're going to go on this side right here. And the trick is you can't, you have to press that back and cut it off before you sew down the next yes. one. You know, everybody sort of gets cheeky and tries to put on both before yeah. they trim, nope. but then you have a buckle at the yep. top, so you, you have, have to do one at a time yep. and trim. Yep. Great. So again, we sew there, and then that creates your, your uh, flying geese. And, and we're gonna make four of those. Four of them, that's correct. And now, so then what you start having, right. once you get all your pieces, are your your rows. Yeah. You join your rows together. Right, so, so remember those four students. that we had, mm -hmm. um, those four um, points right there meet up perfectly mm -hmm. with that um, pinwheel in the middle. That's and right. there's our checkerboard. So make yeah. sure mm -hmm. you notice that we've put the checkerboard, we have the pink on the left-hand side and the gray on this side, mm -hmm. where here we have the gray on uh, the yeah. right. Yeah, that'd be easy to on. turn around. Yeah. Okay, I'll give you those. And sure. Pick up these. These are our outer points. Yes, yes. So um, here are our flying geese. We added the extra to make it so that when you attach it to the other side, to the sides mm -hmm. here, when this is all sewn, it will fit perfectly. And of course, these have to be a touch bigger because yes. you've just added that length. Right. And I can, I don't think I, I'd have to like climb over the table to put this down. So I'm going to put it down here and you That's can see perfect. that that goes down, down at the bottom. That's perfect. And so, and then we have one more border just um, around it to make it just slightly bigger mm -hmm. and a perfect uh, newborn size, uh, either wall yeah. hanging or a cute little bring home uh, quilt. I made a baby quilt not long ago that wasn't quite big enough. You really want it to be big to wrap the baby up. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. A, it's a good yeah. size. So let me, before we go, there's there are other color options. Right. I want you to show this yardage. I can take all that away. Right. Um, pink is not the only option no, here. No, it's not the only option. We have um, in our last um, fabric line, uh, which is Color Me Happy, um, I mentioned that we did the strips. And so we also did it in, uh, Gray, mm -hmm. it comes in a gray gradient right there. Great, perfect. Yeah, and of course it has all, it has four different um, um, 
gradients of it. Mm -hmm. And then this one is, um, it goes from emerald up to the teal. Right. I'm gonna flip this so it goes from dark to light so people can see all the, sure. that's great. And then here we have uh, the navy. Oh, I love it. I know navy oh, tends been, to be our having, favorite. We've been having yeah navy navy love. <laughs> we both are fans. And then here we have this last one, which is the it's um, this lime green to kind of like an olive tone. Yeah. And um, we actually have one here yeah. that we uh, made up in the green just to show it. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely every bit as charming. As right. the pink, so cool. And yeah. so if you have a boy or a girl, yeah. I mean, it's a really cute wall hanging or baby quilt. And a, you, it, these um, solids go great because the gradients mm -hmm. um, look like you took a lot of time and effort to yes. pick out four different bolts of fabric to mm -hmm. create this one project. And really you're only using uh, three quarters of a yard of three, one. Three quarters of a yard? Yeah. Not bad. Vanessa Christensen, thank you so much. Thank you. Very great project. We will see you again on Quilt with the Stars. Thanks. This episode of Quilt with the Stars is brought to you by Baby Lock for the love of sewing and Koala Cabinets, sewing furniture custom built in America.